um, open up your Power Teacher Gradebook if you're using Google Chrome. It's a little bit different, and there's some things that you want to set up here at the beginning um, so that return visits to your gradebook go a little smoother and more quickly. Um, the first thing you're going to do, once you've opened up Google, your Chrome browser, go and um, log into PowerSchool, and then on the left-hand side here, click on Gradebook. In the navigation on the left-hand side, look for Gradebook, and to the right of that is a small blue button. Um, it says Instantly Launch Gradebook. You want to click right on top of that button. And then notice down at the bottom of the screen, this is the Downloads pane here on, in the Chrome browser. There's a warning. And you have to actually approve this file being downloaded. So I'm going to say Save. And then you'll see the file down here um, in the Downloads bar. On the right hand side of that, there's a small little arrow, down arrow. Click on that and say always open files of this type. You want to select that so that when you click on the blue download button in the future, it will automatically download this file um, and open the gradebook. The first time that you do it, you have to go over to your downloads folder. Um, it should be next to your trash can in your dock. And then look for the file called Launch Gradebook. It has a little coffee mug on it um, because it's a Java file. Click on that, and then that should launch your gradebook. Uh, it takes a few seconds here for the gradebook to open up. This will always come up um, if you don't click on this little arrow here, uh, on the little box here. So check the box that says allow all applications um, from psmdirss.org with this signature. So if you click that, this box won't show up in the future. You'll only have to allow it this first time. This seems to come up. Um, for some reason, it doesn't recognize that you've terminated earlier sessions. So just terminate the other session. and your gradebook opens up. Make sure that when you're done uh, using your gradebook, I would suggest going to Power, Power Teacher Gradebook up here at the top and actually quitting the application or using the, the Command-Q um, keyboard shortcut. And that's it. Now, one other thing that I wanted um, you to at least recognize, if I have that file still in my downloads if I go over here and I look and I if I clicked on that right now what would happen would be I would get a box like this come that would pop up it would look like this um, and it asked me to select my school and use my username and password my PowerSchool username and password to log in or sign in and then it would launch the gradebook um, that's another way that you can open the gradebook in the past when we used to see this screen um, that caused a problem, um, when, and that may still happen if you're using Safari. Um, what it wants to do is kind of open up a local um, version of Power Teacher, your gradebook, um, that's not connected to the database. But um, at least through Chrome, as I've tried it, if you actually select your school and then use your Power School username and password, it'll just launch your gradebook, and it seems to work. But really, to avoid that, um, because of the things that we did about setting up the automatic la launch down here where we um, put it on always open a file like this, you should just be able to come in the future now um, with the setup that you've done and click on the little blue button here to the side of the gradebook, uh, the launch button, and that should launch your gradebook. So let's try that out. I'm already out. I'd already logged out of the gradebook, so let's see what happens when I click on it this time. I'm getting a file launch. It bounced down here in my downloads briefly. Um, but I shouldn't have to touch anything else, and um, my gradebook should open up here. Here it comes.
again, um, I shouldn't see that approval or the allow screen because um, if, if I check that little box the first time, it should just go in and launch the gradebook. I may have to terminate. I didn't even have to terminate the other session. So, um, and that might have been because I actually did go up here and and quit Power Teacher Gradebook. If I just closed the gradebook here using the the red dot in the corner, um, and then go back to Power School and click the launch, it's probably recognizing that uh, Power Teacher is still running. Hopefully that helps. If you have questions, let me know.